Just uh, so you know, Jagwe Michael is on uh, this evening for those with hearing difficulty who are following uh, this particular bulletin uh, through sign language. Back to Martha's Coffee. After the three days of insightful deliberations and commendable speeches at the G25 Africa Coffee Summit, many Ugandans are asking what is next and what impact this big summit is likely to have on the coffee industry. It is Karu Mugume who sat down with Dr. Emmanuel Iamremie, who is uh, the managing director, you got a coffee development authority, one of the organizers of uh, the summit. You are allowed to eavesdrop in on their conversation. Well, coffee as we know it, it's uh, common on the shelves of supermarket in urban areas. But it's also served in restaurants like these that host people that can afford a cup like this at about 10,000 Ugandan shillings. Rarely will you see people in the villages drink coffee. This also means that domestic consumption of coffee is still very, very low. And that partly is because of lack of value addition. A lot of this coffee is what is produced here, but exported as raw beans and later returned as a processed product, making it too expensive for the local producer to partake of it. Value addition has been the most common message preached at the G25 Africa Coffee Summit, Uganda hosted for three days in Nyonyo, that brought together delegates from different African countries. After long speeches and insightful debates, many of which highlighted the need for financing as an important factor in value addition. Dr. Iamlemi Emmanuel, Managing Director of the Uganda Coffee Development Authority, says this was much needed to lay the foundation. And for us, we are looking at that commitment. Then once the commitment has been made and the, uh, the heads of state have made that endorsement at the African Union level, uh, Union then the real commitment of availability of financing will follow. That will be now under the implementation plan. Uganda currently exports 8.5 million bags at a value of $848 million, and the hope is that this is increased if value addition is worked on. Exporters are worried that government is not committing financially even after a whole three-day event, and that means they also not stop exporting bins, something President Museveni is against. So which way Uganda? We, are, we have got very excellent ideas uh, on how this can be done. Uh, we are also privileged to have some of the development partners who are uh, with us, but also proposals on available money uh, within the various uh, uh, institutions in the, in the government. Some of the biggest coffee exporters in Uganda are in partnerships with multinationals, and that's how they are able to raise capital. As much as agricultural machinery is not taxed under the current tax regime, bureaucratic government processes continue to disrupt coffee business leaving exporters in a tricky position. Is it possible to set aside money in financial institutions as a guarantee to ease business? When you have a guarantee in these financial institutions, uh, it means the, uh, you are risking the money. The interest rates will go down uh, so that the, it is much affordable to the private sector. Kanarum Gume, NBS, Live at Nine.